In this video, we're going to look at sweep, twist, and dihedral in a little bit more detail, and we'll use a multi-section wing to see how these parameters change from section to section and how it can alter your wing geometry. So for section one, which is highlighted here in green, we've got a zero degree sweep about the quarter chord, and we have the same set for section two. So if we jump to a top view and look, here at the quarter chord station, we've got a straight line, zero degree, going all the way out the span. Now, in section one, if we start to change either that location or the angle, then we can change how this first section is modified, but the outboard section is relatively unaffected by this. Now, you'll note that if we try and drag this sweep location all the way to the trailing edge, it's gonna give you an error because we're trying to set two different angles at the same station, which we, which we can't do. So if we drag this off, then move sweep location to one, we can set whatever sweep angle we like. So let's just say we wanna set this at minus 15, okay? So we have a minus 15 degree angle here at the trailing edge, and at section two, we still have zero degrees at the quarter chord. Now we can either link these parameters or set them manually. Let's again move this off, set this to one, and set this to minus 15. And now we have a straight 15 degree angle along the entire span again, just by changing the sweep location in that angle. Now, if we move into the twist and take a look at how these behave, Make a quick note that we're looking at the absolute angle relative to the horizontal. So the plan form tab has an angle of four. Let's bump that up a little bit to 10 so that we can make this a bit more extreme and see how these actually behave. Under the section tab, we have zero degrees relative to the free stream or rather relative to the X angle. And we can change this by increasing the twist or pitching the trailing edge down and the nose up, or by making it negative and putting it nose down. Now again, the twist location here is in the chordwise direction. We're defining this to rotate about the quarter chord. You can again set this to the leading edge or trailing edge, whichever is your preference. But if you decide that you want this to have, say, seven degrees, if we zoom out a little bit and start sliding this around yet again, note that the root and the tip of the wing are unaffected. This is only changing this section of section one. If we come out to the tip, we can now control the twist all the way out at the tip of the wing. So we can effectively change our tip washout if we want. So if you want something like a two degree angle of attack or even negative two, what VSP is doing is along each of these section is it's making a linear transformation from whatever the previous angle was to the angle at the tip of that section. Dihedral, if we view from the front, is simply the angle from the leading edge line to the leading edge line at the end relative to the horizontal. So if we set this down to zero in section two, you see that we've got a nice straight line here. We set it back to five. Note that section one is unaffected by how we set this outboard section to behave. So we can come in and make these angle changes and the outboard section keeps its own dihedral. And again, this is because we have this absolute flag turned on that's relative to the global coordinate system. If we turn on relative, what it's going to do is start calculating these angles as a delta based on whatever the previous section is set at. And we'll cover that in a bit more detail in a follow-up video.